Hi everyone, welcome back to the bar for another special cocktail moment. I know I say special like all the time, but I mean it this time because I brought my special friend, Jason. Say hi, Jason. Hi, Jason. Classic bit, kills every time. Jason and I just recently got back from a lovely Caribbean cruise with our friends and family. And while we were on this cruise, we had a delicious drink called the Rum Runner. It's the Rum Runner. To be true, we probably had far too many of the delicious drink called the Rum Runner. Truer words have never been said. So today we're going to make Rum Runners for you, the viewers. Well, it's not exactly for them. You're not actually going to be able to drink them. Oh my god, this is going to be the longest episode of my life. Yeah, for both of us. Oh there are many variations on the Rum Runner, but for today we're going to be making what we consider our version of the basic Rum Runner. You're only going to need a handful of ingredients, starting with coconut rum and blackberry brandy. You'll then need pineapple juice, orange juice, and cranberry juice. Man, you didn't spill a drop. Thank you, Vanna. Damn straight. Normally you'd make this drink in a hurricane glass, which looks kind of like this, but you're a grown person, I assume, and you can make it in whatever glass you'd like to make it in. Would you mind if I actually mix this? You're wanting to do it because you're a professional bartender. That, and I'm actually tall enough to get it all in the glass on the first try. So, what we're gonna do is take our fun tiki shaker here. It is fun. It is fun. We're gonna add some ice to it. We're gonna follow that you with- You all that in the first try. Right? We're gonna follow that with one and a half ounces of coconut rum. Coconut rum. Coconut. Coconut. <laughs> We're gonna follow that up with another one ounce of blackberry brandy. You know I've never had blackberry brandy. Is it any good? Well, there's an easy way to find out. Oh, cheers. It's like cough syrup. <laughs> so. You okay? I've got this. We're okay. gonna follow that up with a splash of pineapple. Now Jason, as a professional bartender, how would one measure a splash? Kind of like this, a splash of orange juice. <laughs> and a splash of cranberry. Okay, that seems very scientific. <laughs> it is, it's an art actually. Once that's done, we're gonna shake. Ready? Shake. Pop and pour. Look at that. Oh, perfection. You even got almost all of it in the glass. <laughs> I've seen this show, that's how you do it. And that's how you make a rum runner. This looks delicious. Well, you know there's another way to do this, right? The frozen version. This thing again. All right, Jason, you've talked me into it. Let's make this frozen version of the rum okay. runner. How do we start? First, you're gonna start with your ice. Sounds uh, like a good thing for I a frozen drink. How much you want me to put in here? I'd recommend you put about halfway through. Halfway up the pitcher? Halfway up the blender. By through, I meant halfway up. For a scientist, you don't measure things very, like, <laughs> definitively. <laughs> Drinking is an art. It's more about feeling it than necessarily being precise. After that, you're gonna follow it up with roughly a shot and a half of rum. Now, there's a trick to making frozen drinks. Okay, I'm here to, I'm here for tricks. So what you're gonna wanna do is actually put more liquor into the frozen drink. When you blend up the ice, it waters down the drink. So you wanna get the better flavor through by actually adding more liquor. Some people would tell you to do it with more juice. I'm a proponent of the liquor. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't whoa me, it's whoa. my show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Follow that up with a shot-ish of the blackberry brandy. Cool, cool, cool. There you go. Wow, really? And you follow that up with your pineapple juice. I don't know why you're handing me, we should just pour these in. Your orange juice and your cranberry in. juice. All right. Uh, now, put the lid on and blend until smooth. Probably good. Okay. Ooh. It even sounds pretty. It even sounds good. You know what a really good way to, thing to do is on these when they're frozen? Drink them? A little oh. tiny float of 151 proof rum right on top. Garnish. All right, well, we made garnishes earlier. We made uh, limes and cherries, but you were telling me that that's not traditional for this drink. No, traditionally you're gonna wanna use oranges and cherries, uh, but I was told that somebody ate the oranges for breakfast. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Mm, they're thick. <laughs> you wanna try it? Yes, this? I do. <laughs> mm. Thank you all for joining us today to make Rum Runners. Jason, I know I've enjoyed spending this time with you. 
If you've got a favorite version of the Rum Runner you'd like to share, put it in the comment section below. Like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And Jason, once again, thank you for being here today. It really was my pleasure. And thank you, the audience, for watching. Thanks for enjoying a Rum Runner with me and Jason on this cocktail moment.